Second quarter here at Russ Gear Field in uh, Villa Grove. The Blue Devils leading the Arthur Lovington at Woodhammond Knights by a score of 14 to nothing. Knights have the ball second and eight at the 37 yard line. Here's the snap. Shuring picks it up. Got to keep it himself. Goes right up the middle. He's going to have a first down and then some. He's brought down at the 20. A gain of about 17. And the Knights have picked up a couple first downs on this possession. First one came when Fagan recovered a fumbled snap on a punt. Now we had wide receivers all over the place. Two to the left, two to the right. Wing back to the right, Shuring by himself in the backfield. Gets a snap, juggles it, throws left side. It's complete to Stephen Wright. He's trying to spin away from would-be tacklers, and he's brought down for no gain. That's the uh, second completion for Shuring. It's going to be second down, and they're going to call the loss of a yard. Back to the 21. So Shuring has completed two of five passes for minus three yards. Wright and Cole Garman go wide to the left side. Cam and number seven, Jeremy Plank to the right. Fagan is the wing to the right. Shuring, reverse pivot, rolls to the right side, throws the football, and it is... Looks like it's complete to Hunter Cam. Had to go to his knees to catch the football. We couldn't tell if he had uh, caught the football. Going to be first and goal inside the 10. Three first downs on this drive. That's a 12-yard pass from Shuring to Cam, and it's good for a first down, first and goal. Here's Garmin, Fagan, Cam to the left, to the right, right, and Nathan Rose, Shuring, the lone back, in the shotgun, takes the snap, throws right side to Stephen Wright. He gets the football, he goes forward, and he is going to be inside the, inside the five. They're going to, it's going to be second down and goal. And they're going to call it at the two. So a seven-yard pass from Shuring to right. And the Knights have something going. They're trying to get on the scoreboard. Three receivers to the left, two to the right. Lone setback is Shuring. He gets the snap. Throws in the flat to the left side to Cam. And he is going to be thrown down. And that was number 10. Cole Lemon making the stop. On the reception, number six, Hunter Cam. Hunter Cam was thrown back to the 10-yard line. Loss of eight yards on that play. Got to be a loss of... Okay, they're going to call it the six. So it's a loss of four. And it's third down and goal. Nine minutes to go, clock running for the Arthur Lovington Atwood Hammond Knights. Here's Wright in motion. Shuring going to keep the football himself, and he's going to... Uh, now we got a flag on the play. I don't know if he got the, made it to the line of... Well, it looks like he got to the five, so he may have made a yard. And the flag is going to be against the Knights from the preliminary indication. Up front for the Knights, Tyler Smith, Graham Stewart, Dylan Black, David Rosenbaum, and Drake Nelson. Going to be a walk-off against the Knights of... 10 yards. So it's going to go back to about the 16. 
from what we can tell, 16-17 yard line. I'm going to say it's 17. Third down, goal to go. They have to get it in. Eight and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Fagan in motion, Shuring gets a snap, drops back, throws over the middle, and it is, is it intercepted? It is intercepted by number three for Villa Grove Heritage, Tyler Harrison. Harrison intercepts the pass at the 15, around the 15 yard line. So, first turnover of the ball game goes in favor of the Blue Devils. And they're going to get it first and 10. 822 to go. First and 10 at the Blue Devil 16 yard line. Gavin Gunner gets a snap, hands over the right side. Max Daly takes the football and he bowls his way for some good yardage on first down. He's out across the 20. 25 yard line is going to be where they mark it. So Daly picks up nine. He has 57 yards unofficially on seven carries. And like Daly pick, carries again, he's going to be close to the first down. And they are going to call it a first down for the Blue Devils. Daly picks up another Blue Devil. First down. So first and ten for the Blue Devils. The ball at the 28. Gutter gets a snap. Hands off. Looks like Harrison taking the football. Tyler Harrison goes over the left side. On the tackle, number 10, Nathan Rose, and 27, Stephen Wright. He's going to get out to the 33-yard line, a gain of five. Harrison picks up five yards, second down. Second and five from the 33 of the Blue Devils. Gunner, hands off, right side, Daly. He's got first down yardage and more. He's still on his feet as he gets near midfield. Going to be brought down at the 49-yard line, a 16-yard carry for Max Daly. That's going to be another first and ten for the Blue Devils. Daly with uh, 73 yards, according to our stats, on eight carries. So that's a shade over nine yards a carry. But we've got a flag on the play. I think a sideline warning against the Knights. So uh, I think the first one probably just carries a warning. Daly picked up another Blue Devil. First down. First and ten at the 48-yard line is where they mark it. Gutter. Two backs behind him. Hands off. Right side. Daly. He's going to get to midfield. Gain of about two for Daly. Before he's brought down. Bill Grove running without a huddle. Getting the signs, the signals from the bench. About three people are sending in signs, so you have to know who, which one is the live one. Which one are the decoys? First and ten, wide receivers both sides. Slot man to the left. Gutter pitches to Daly, right side, gets away from one into mid, uh, cross midfield, down to the 47 of uh, Arthur Lovington at Wood Hammond. Gain of about five. Going to be third down at about three. Ball at the 47 of Arthur Lovington at Wood Hammond. Two men wide to the right side. Daly, the lone. Uh, here's Harrison in motion. Gets the handoff to the right side. He's trying to go wide. There's a flag on the play as he gets up uh, to the, about the 45 yard line. <coughs> but there was a flag thrown by the head linesman over on the far side of the football field. 
And let's see. Holding against the Blue Devils. Flag was thrown at about the 42 or 43 yard line. So it'll be 10 yard mark off from that space, that, that place. Holding against uh, Villa Grove Heritage. And the ball will go back. Well, it's third down. Third down, the ball at the 44-yard line of Villa Grove Heritage. And they have to get to the 43. So about. About 14 yards, 14 or 15 yards. Here's Gunner rolling out to the left side. Passes complete the stip across midfield. He's going to be wrestled down, making the stop. Or Kyle Fagan. Number three, number 10, Nathan Rose, and I think number 27, Stephen Wright. Ball goes to the 48 of Arthur Lovington. Gain of about eight, and it's third down and or fourth down and seven. Stip taking the pass. And now we have a timeout called by Villa Grove Heritage. That's their first of the first half. And it comes with four, uh, rather 447 left to go in the half. And the score, Villa Grove Heritage 14, Arthur Loving at Atwood Hammond, nothing. When play resumes, looks like Skyler Orwick will be punting. He'll be standing back at his own 40-yard line. And a single safety back at the 16 for the Knights. High snap to Orwick. He gets a, an end-over-end punt off, and it's going to bounce out of bounds in Arthur Levington territory. And we've got a flag at the end of the play. I think we may have had a little extracurricular action going over on the far side. Punt went out of bounds at the 26-yard line. So that's going to be about an 18-yard punt. And I think the flag is for something after the play. And the officials are conferring in the middle of the field. And let's see what they decide. Dead ball foul and sportsmanlike conduct against Villa Grove. So that's going to move the ball from the 26. It'll go out to about the 41-yard line. That's the fourth penalty on the Blue Devils for a total of 40 yards unofficially. Well, check that. That's the fifth penalty because I didn't write down the holding call. Well, yeah, now here we go. Had to get the Arthur Levington Atwood Hammond football before they could walk off the penalty. Didn't know that was a requirement anymore, but ball goes out to the 42. And it's going to be first and 10 for the Knights with 442 left to go. So five penalties for 50 yards. Shuring, single back in the backfield, goes left side, and it's going to be a completed pass on the left side to number seven, Jeremy Plank. On the reception is number seven, Jeremy Plank. Plank takes the pass, and it's going to be for no gain. And it's going to be second and 10 from the 42. Number 59 coming in from the sideline for the Blue Devils on defense. And at, that is Brody Cole. Wide receivers to both sides, two on each side. 
Shuring back to throw. He's under pressure. He's going to run it. He's got it uh, up across midfield. He's got a first down. He's in Blue Devil territory and run out of bounds at about the 42-yard line. 16-yard carry for Shuring. And it's going to be a first down for the Knights. Skyler Orwick making the stop. That's the sixth carry for Shuring for 40 yards. And it's going to be first and 10 for the Knights. That is their fourth first down of the ball game. Three of them came on, three first downs came on the last drive, but the drive came up empty after an intercepted pass. Now we have a whistle and a timeout called by the Knights. And the clock has stopped with 3.33 left to go in the first half. And the score, Villagrove Heritage 14, Arthur Lovington Atwood Hammond nothing. Back at Villagrove High School, Arthur Lovington Atwood Hammond with the football. First and 10 at the Villagrove Heritage 42-yard line. Hunter Cam in motion to the right. He gets the handoff from Shuri, and he goes wide, and he is going to be hit. And that is number one, Toby Stipp. And Cam is going to get... Well, they're going to mark it at the 41, so he may have gotten a yard on the play. Going to be second down and nine for the... Knights. They come out of the huddle. Wide to the right side is number seven, Jeremy Plank. Also, Stephen Wright lined up in the slot to the right. Three men wide to the left. Shuring by himself in the backfield. He fakes the pass. He's going to keep it himself, and he's going to be stopped for no gain. 55. In on the stop. Gavin Arnold. Number 32, Noah Danner. In on the stop. No gain on the play for Shuring. Going to be third down, still nine yards to go at the 41-yard line. Clock running, 223 left to go. Coming in from the sideline is Nathan Rose, a 5'9", 145-pound senior. Most of the playing time is being taken by the seniors. They have 13 seniors, 9 juniors, and then there's 8 people in the other two classes combined. Here's a snap by Shuring. Drops back. He's going to throw it deep downfield for Fagan. He looks over his head. It's incomplete. He went for the bomb that time, and Fagan looked back over his head as he was running toward the end zone. And it's going to bring up fourth and nine at the 41. Shuring is six for 11 with an interception. And the Knights are going to go for it on fourth and nine in uh, VGH territory. Receiver to the right. Man in motion, Shuring, hands off on the reserve, reverse to Fagan, and Fagan is going to be stopped well short of first down yardage. He's going to be brought down at about the 36-yard line, a gain of five, but they needed nine. Skyler Orwick in on the stop, and Villagrove Heritage takes over first and ten at their own 36. 148 to go here in the first half. Blue Devils come out. Caleb Robertson over center. Over on the right side of the line, number 74. Tyler Shanks, number 72, Spencer Eversole. Gunner gets the snap. He's going to keep it. Pitches. It's on the ground. Back in the backfield. Still the scramble for the football. And let's see who comes up with it. Gunner got the snap, tried to pitch it back behind, ended up behind the uh, intended ball carrier, which was number four, Kenny Guerrero. So the Blue Devils fumble, 
They recover it, though, but it's going to be second down and about a day and a half's journey for the first down. That was their first fumble of the ball game. Ball is going to be back at the... Well, let's see. We're going to call it the 24. Loss of 12. Going to be third or second down, and the scoreboard says 30. They have to get out to the about the 48. Gutter drops back. He's going to throw downfield. It is incomplete. Intended for Guerrero. Back uh, defending on the play. See if we can catch a number. May have been Cole Garman back there. Number 14. And it's going to be third down. Say the ball's at the 24, so it's got to be about... Yeah, a long way to go. About 20... 24... We'll go by what the scoreboard says. Clock stopped with a minute 12 left to go in the half on the incomplete pass. Gunner gets the sign from the sideline. Short snap. Gets it. Hands off to Daly. Daly's going to be stacked up for about a yard gain, if that much. That may be nice. I think we've got a sideline warning against Villa Grove as well. Sideline warning against the Blue Devils. There's a little uh, belt supposedly around the field that the players are not supposed to be in. It's reserved for coaches and officials and the chain gang. Daly got nothing on the play, so it's fourth down, 24. At the 24, Orwick gets a high, short punt away. It bounced, and now it's going to take a Villagrove roll inside the Arthur Lovington Atwood Hammond 40 down to the 38-yard line. About a 38-yard punt by Skyler Orwick. It was a high punt, and it didn't look like it was going to go very far, but then it hit, and it took off rolling toward the north. And we're going to say it's a 38-yard punt. And the Knights have it with 47.7 seconds to go in the first half. Tyler Shuring with Wright in the backfield behind him. Wing backs to both sides. Wide receiver off to the left. Shuring going to keep it himself. Cuts up field. Gets across the 40 to about the 41. Gain of about three. Going to be second and seven. About 30 seconds to go here in the first half. Bill Grove Heritage leading Arthur Lovington at one Hammond by a score of a 14 to nothing. Blue Devils scored twice in the first quarter, and that's been it so far. Arthur Lovington Atwood Hammond threatened once, but then turned the football over. Second down at about seven. Fagan goes in motion. Here's Shuring. He pitches to Fagan around the left side. He tries to break free. He's going to be close to first down yardage. And they're going to mark it about the 47. They may be about a yard short. And the clock runs out. The officials... Looked like the officials were going to call, try to call time. Two seconds on the clock. A gain of about six yards for Kyle Fagan. He gets off out to the 47-yard uh, line. It's going to be third down and one. The Knights took their final time out. With two seconds to go. Fagan was pushed down or brought down near the sideline. The uh, headlines went on the far side of the football field. Kept uh, motion to keep the clock running, meaning that uh, Fagan was still in bounds. And the uh, clock went to zero. 
but the officials said that Arthur Lovington Atwood Hammond called a timeout with two seconds to go. And so we're going to have a third down, one yard to go for the Knights from their own 47-yard line with two seconds on the clock. When we resume, and here we come, wide to the right side, number seven, Jeremy Plank, Kyle Fagan, wing to the left. Three men wide to, or to the right. Now Stephen Wright comes to the right side as a wing back. Two receivers to the left. Shuring in the shotgun. Gets the snap. Drops back, has time. Now he has to throw the ball downfield. Puts it up downfield and it is incomplete. Intended for Hunter Cam, Toby Stipp, and number 10, Cole Lemon, back to defend. And we come to the end of the first half here at Russ Gear Field in Villa Grove with the score, the Villa Grove Heritage Blue Devils, 14. The Arthur Lovington Atwood Hammond Knights, nothing. You're